So some quite interesting news uh, in the last few hours uh, and it's to do with the Minister for Kevin O'Malley and Heather Humphreys. Uh, she's not seeking re-election. Now I, I'm i very shocked by that as well. One, just one to say and I presume everybody in Kevin is the same. I think the majority of people in Kevin were taking off one of the Fianna Fáil TDs not seeking re-election because there was a lot of talk about one of the Fianna Fáil TDs not seeking re-election so basically it was come out of the blue. Uh, and particularly obviously because Heather Humphreys does in Kevin Mullen always top the poll. Like it's not like she's not going to get elected. She guaranteed basically. The one seat probably in Fine Gael that was guaranteed to be elected. Uh, and the reason why too, because obviously she's got a lot of stuff and and again it goes without saying I, I don't like Fine Gael. the policies are rubbish, but in fairness the head of uh, give her credit she's one of the better ones in Fine Gael. I give her I give her that. Um she did get a lot of money for Calvin and Mullen for different resources. Take, for example, all the league, local league buses in Calvin and Mullen going from here there to everywhere. Uh, seven or eight routes in Calvin and Mullen. Uh, full services, etc., etc. For elderly people, people who don't have cows. You know, students, take, for example. Uh, great services. Uh, and I give her that. And along with other community projects, money for that. Only for her, uh, there would have been no money given by FINA for TDs, etc., etc. So councillors. So in fairness, I give her that. In fairness. Uh, and the majority of people in Kevin will be very thankful for her contribution to the, you know, all the services we got, etc, etc. Uh, but on the other hand, too, Fina Gael has really m- pretty much, have, in every other regard, has destroyed the country, in other words, and all the Fianna Fáil. Uh, but yeah, I was very shocked at the same time, especially because, again, the one thing I would criticise Heather Humphrey particularly, uh, last year she came out and said people who walk to 70 would get an extra few bob on the pension. So basically, she's only sixty one and she's retiring before the you know the state pension age. So it's very hypocritical in that terms, uh, saying people should walk into seventy, and you're retiring at sixty one. You know, let's put it that way. It's very hypocritical. A lot of people who work hard labour jobs, bricklayers, construction workers, you know, they they don't have the luxury to walk to seventy. You know, they'd be lucky to walk to fifty because your back would go. It's back breaking walk. But again, just to say, it's very hypocritical in that regard. Uh, if you take that board. Now the next thing is Simon Harris and, and this is going to be the next thing and Fina Gale are in a lot of trouble at the moment so there's many stories to this. Uh, 18 out of the 25 TDs they have at the moment are not seeking re-election so that's nearly 51% of the TDs are, are literally giving up and going. Uh, now we don't know why Head of Office I presume she just has enough of it all and sick of it all probably. Um, who knows because again we have to remember before the, the budget she didn't want to give people job seekers uh, a wise. She didn't want to give people social welfare a wise, and she was the one Fine Gael minister that didn't want that to happen. She wanted to give pensioners a wise, but she didn't want to give people on job seekers or people on the only dole take for example. She didn't want to give them a pay a pay wise in the dole, uh, which was twelve euro extra. Uh, now whatever you take of that, obviously, I, I don't really know. Why. I suppose I can't really judge on that, but you know that's basically what she wanted she didn't want to give that and the western ministers wanted that etc etc because the budget you know they wanted to get a few extra folks but head of office didn't so maybe it had something to do with that who knows it could have been something more uh, it could be health grounds who knows we, we could speculate to the cows come home but i presume she just has enough for it all uh but you know in fairness uh, uh, before I go on any further um a lot of people in cabin would probably be upset and particularly mom would be very upset with her going but the next thing i would say uh, it's it's quite a trouble for Fina Gale at the moment because who are they going to put in Cavan de Monaghan? There's no, the, there was one of them that was in Fina Gale stole money from a charity. He used to be a former Fina Gale councillor in Cavan. He used to be a former mayor. So I, I don't foresee him being put forward. You know, I don't, I don't foresee that. But uh, I can't really think of anybody in Fina Gale. There's a few councillors got elected. Neve Brady, Maddie Narkin's daughter got elected Cavan County Council in this area. I couldn't foresee her giving up her seat and going for Dolly Owen. I couldn't foresee it. Um, so I don't know who they're going to put for Fina Gale. The only person that's really known in Cavan, and he's a senator, but he'd be far too old. He's eighty. He's eighty. something Joe Wiley, uh, but again, he's far too old, and I don't think he would get elected because I think people in Cavan, you know, uh, think he should be retired long ago. To be totally honest with you, but um, the next thing I say, so it's going to be a lot of trouble with that, and obviously then the amount of TDs that are leaving Fina Gale, they have to try and get replacements and trying to get them back into to go into the into the doll. It's going to be very difficult, you know, losing a lot of your brand name names. If they Stephen Coveney take for example, who is leaving, um, you know, not much loss. The majority of them, <laughs> none of them are good for are good for nothing. The majority of them, uh, they wouldn't give you toppings. Um, 
so there's a lot of trouble. There's obviously something in Fine Gael, cause unless they all know they're in for a lot of trouble in the next election. So do y'all, because they've destroyed the country uh, more than they ever have, you know, uh, with immigration, etc., etc. Many other things too, not even that. People can't, young people are leaving in the droves. I was young people are leaving in the droves. Um, every week, there's hundreds are leaving in this country. That's what we're doing. Uh, and then everybody else is coming in, you know, it doesn't make any sense, but sure, that's the country we live in at the moment. But uh, it's insane. And then obviously, too, the next thing is the election. So Simon Harris today um, came out and said that it will be before 20, 20, the end of 2024, basically, so it won't be 2025. So I all indications are pointing that there'll be November the 29th or so, somewhere around there, uh, or the fourth week in December. We see probably something like that, I say. Because uh, they couldn't have it too close to Christmas, because you know, but uh, so it's it's basically guaranteed that they are going to have it before Christmas, before uh, we don't know before the dawn of Jones, before October. So it's guaranteed they're going to have it in now within the next few weeks, uh, within the next two months, basically. What I'm trying to say, um, which pretty much I say at the end of November, at most, or the middle of November, depending if they what now they're meeting tomorrow. We probably have more information about that tomorrow, but um. It's, it's going to be interesting, especially because there's, there's more candidates that are very interesting people going in Norton or City, Dublin, etc. Et we'll talk about a different day. But it's a quite insane time to be in politics in this country. Because um, basically the mainstream political party, Sinn Féin, I, I don't know what, how to describe Sinn Féin at the moment. Uh, it's just... It's the, uh, I don't know the words careful as well, but long story short, it's the whole... I talk about it in live stream, it's a lot of stuff going on in Sinn Féin at the moment. And then Fina Gale is falling apart, Fina Fall is falling apart, the Green Party are falling apart. Um, basically the whole mainstream political parties are falling apart, which is good for independence, because again, the polls are all showing independence are doing the best, along with Fina Gale, but again, that's probably just wish wash. Uh, but independence seem to be doing the best, independence support has gone up immensely for independent people. Uh, and then for smaller parties too, take for example the Irish Freedom Party, other parties like that too. The support is tri uh, tripled basically, um, because a lot of people, the majority of a lot of people just fed up with the the mainstream political parties because they're basically all the same. You get basically the same. Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, basically one and the same. Sinn Féin are not much better. A few may be different. Labour Party the same, pretty much. Basically, there's no difference between any of them really. Um, uh, but we we'll wait and see. I keep you updated. We hope for um an early election. Hopefully, people do go out and vote, etc., etc. When the time comes. Because we do need change, and that's, I think, everybody in the country. I think th this is the one election, compared to Treti Treti, I think this is the one election where people would agree that there needs to be change in the country, and there needs to be change soon, uh, before it's far too late. And I think everybody agrees with that now, that there needs to be a change, uh, because things are not going well in the country, uh, and we all have to be honest with ourselves when it comes to that. Thank you.